My name is Tyler Walker. Uh, I have Walker Cranberry Company. Uh, we're located in just outside of Wisconsin Rapids, which is in right in the middle of the state of Wisconsin. I've been in cranberries for my whole life. I'm a sixth generation cranberry grower. Uh, my grandfather started our, our property uh, in 1947. My dad has ran it for the last 40 years and we're transitioning to the next generation and I have three kids that hopefully one day will show some interest and want to transition to them too. So I was, was born into it. It's just been sort of a part of my life since I was young. My folks were very adamant that I get out and experience other things. So I spent time living in the Twin Cities in uh, Minnesota. I went to college, got a degree in business, but there was always a, a draw to come back to agriculture. Cranberries are a perennial. We don't have to go through a planting every spring. I still have some, some fields on my property that my grandfather planted in the 50s. Our spring season then consists of getting everything ready, getting the irrigation and getting all the prep work out so that season can go as smoothly as possible. Most people that have seen pictures of cranberries have seen pictures at harvest. The number one question that I always get refers to them growing in water. They don't, they don't grow in water, they grow in sand, but we use water to harvest them because the berries float. So it makes getting them out of the bed much easier if we can put a controlled flood on. My dad and my son and I, we've been fascinated with drones for a long time. With some of the rising costs in using helicopters and airplanes, we started looking at other spraying alternatives. At that time, there wasn't anybody using drones in cranberries started looking around online, the AgriSpray, Taylor's company started popping up on YouTube and I reached out to him and he admitted he didn't know much about cranberries, but he knew a lot about drones. So we had some nice conversations. To be completely honest, we decided it was the right time because of the price points of everything else. And rather than spending $125,000 on a boom, we just spent $30,000 and got, her, got it taken care of. When we relied on the helicopter or the airplane, we were on other people's schedules. The people we worked with were always great, but there was always usually a day or two just to coordinate and get everything set up. When our scout comes through and says, we've hit the threshold for spraying, we can have the drone out flying that afternoon or that evening if you have pests out there. Every day you wait can cause a few percent difference in your yield and your crop quality when it comes to harvest time. The ability to do spot treatments and treat different fields differently has been helpful. The different varieties and the different fields don't always require the same treatment. So we've been able to customize our nutrient management and our pest management. I use 10% less fertilizer. The drone flies exactly on the area it needs to and the overspray has been completely minimized. I ordered the normal amount of fertilizer and wound up with a full pallet left over, with, I mean, two tons left over. Today, with this, the price of fertilizer, everything has been really nice. I've really appreciated my relationship with AgriSpray since we've started to incorporate drones. Not only from a sales side that they have the equipment and can get it to us, but more so on the, the knowledge and the customer relations side. When there's been an issue, somebody gets on the phone or starts texting with me and can walk me through because it's not just a, a sales relationship. It's like, I mean, they actually know the machines inside and out and they've seen the issues that can happen so they can walk you through how to fix those issues. The service side and the knowledge side is where it's been a really important relationship to have. I can find other dealers that will sell me products and they'll sell it to me and that'll be the end of our relationship but finding a company that actually stands behind it and has a continued relationship, you know, long after the sale has been, it's been refreshing. Uh, quite frankly, it's something that we have a hard time finding nowadays. I do see my drone journey expanding in the future. You know, right now we, we incorporate 130. Our T30 is the primary workhorse for 
all of our fertilizer and our pesticide applications that we put on. I absolutely want to have a second one when our season's over. That is one of the top priorities is we're going to figure out, do we keep going with the 30? Do we upgrade to 140 or 150? Or do we do it right, just jump right to two? I'm Tyler Walker uh, with Walker Cranberry Company in uh, Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin.